I have a little surprise I want to show you guys, and it requires Mark. Ruby's having a baby. Are you going to have a girl? Nah. Good. You had quite the entourage five months ago. Oh. So glad I got my camera some days. <laughs>
And yes, we're those kind of people that leave their Christmas lights on way far too long. Look at that. Someone's gonna milk cows this morning. I think I can take my hat off again today. We've got our unlined bibs on today, which is really nice. I have a little surprise I want to show you guys, and it requires Mark. So, can you start it for the camera? Oh, um, yes, I can. We have to show the people oh, your pride and joy today. The problem is that the safeties are a little bit bypassed right now. Well, this is just for, this is it's not... Just to get out of the shop yes, so we can actually just, do other stuff. Yes, but we have to show... So we started with the light switch, yep. which is not right, but... It's okay. It's ingenious. I mean. But I've never rebuilt a tractor before. No. So it's uh I don't know, mildly impressive. For a me. proud moment. Mildly impressive. I'm very impressed. Well done. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> We're doing our shifts a bit different today. Chris is gonna do I usually do afternoon. She's gonna actually do afternoon and I'm gonna do tonight because she actually has to go home tonight. She has school this week, so Chris is with me every other week. That's why it's confusing to some. So she's just gonna start feeding here. I'm gonna shut this because it's gonna get loud. Um, I'm just gonna take a couple minutes and tag all the ones that were born yesterday. There's quite a few yesterday. I like to tag the day after that they're born. I like to give them a good 12 to 24 hours just so I can observe you know anything with mom or the baby the more data you put into it the more things start to make sense and and line up so I am trying to do better at uh, gathering information I guess especially right now <laughs> into the barn on an afternoon off if there's someone very special lambing. Are you having a baby? Ruby's having a baby. I wondered because you backed off the bunk and you never back away from feed. Do you? Are you gonna have your baby? It was my afternoon off. Why are you doing this to me? Well Ruby, what do you say? What do you say to your what do you say? Are you going to have a girl? Nah. Good. Historically, Ruby starts chirping and she takes a while to labor. So we'll see how long this takes. Maybe as every baby, she gets faster. There's nothing coming out of her yet though, so I'm sure this is just the beginning. You having your baby? This is very exciting. Oh. Nah. You want to scratch? 
Do you want a pre-baby scratch? <laughs> okay. Ruby took off. She's right by the lambing pens. She's like, uh, I'm gonna have a baby, so let me in here. <laughs> it's hilarious. She's right up to it. I don't know if you guys can see. She's like right there, right at the lambing pens. She's just bulldozing everyone out of her way. She's She gets really grumpy when she's in labor, which that makes sense. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about, um, I uploaded my video from, uh, I guess it was mostly Saturday, Saturday's vlog. I uploaded it today and I'm getting railed in the comments and I'm sure if I answer it here, the ones that are um, asking me these questions are not going to watch today's video. So I'm, but I want you guys to know that I do read comments and uh, for the most part, they're very, very positive. But today's comments are just, it's because I left, I have to remember in every video, without context, you guys, it can be, it, it can be a real hole you dig yourself into. So um, yesterday I lost that you because she, ca she cast it on me and I got her up, like I tried to get her up and then she flopped over and, and I, I literally got up to go get medicine for her and she died instant, like she died in that moment. So I'm, so this is where I was exactly. So I'm here, my utility room is way down there. So it takes a bit to get down there, even if I run and scare the crap out of everybody. It's four in the morning. I'm making all these excuses, just so you know. Um, and I don't have a surgical knife. I don't have a sur surgical kit. I don't really enjoy doing that stuff on animals. I think that should be a vet call. And we don't do C-sections unless they're planned. Like we try to plan for that. Like if we see a ewe really struggling and we think there's a chance that we can save lambs, especially if they're full term. If she was full term, which I'm not entirely convinced she was, her udder wasn't really bloomed and uh, she wasn't in active labor when, when she went down. So um, C-sections, emergency C-sections, we like to plan. Not really an emergency, I guess, when you do that. but. Um, so we would have to euthanize the ewe and then you have you have You have very limited time to get those lambs out alive. We've done them in the past mark and I have done them together um, Before I vlogged actually so that was the first couple years, but we're never successful We've been successful with one lamb probably out of Like we've maybe done three c-sections. We've had one lamb come out alive So uh, we always think we're being really really fast like pit crew fast Ruby came back <laughs> she wants her mommy it's okay I'll be right here the whole time anyways uh, we try I try everything to save to save lambs and to save ewes that one just caught me off guard I was really tired it was four in the morning I just didn't come out there even expecting that but you know looking forward looking ahead now I'm going to invest in a surgical knife a good one um, I also now carry my respirator. I have them with my OB gloves. So every time I go to get uh, that stuff to help you, I will grab the resuscitator. So I have that. So yes, I fail a lot as I'm reminded here and everywhere else by putting myself out there for it. Uh, but I, but I, but I also learn. So maybe yes, I lost one, but maybe I can save the next one. But I don't know. Anyways, just. Thank you guys for being kind. Um, I just wish, I wish more people would just realize that um, you only see part of what I do in a day and uh, not it all. What are you saying, Rubes? I see a mucus plug. Show everybody your mucus plug. Turn around. Show everybody your mucus plug. There it is. Look at that. Perfect. Yep. You're going to do this all on your own. Well, we've walked back down to this end again. What are we at now? I came out at 1 and we're at 208. Darn it, it's a white foot. I was hoping it was going to be a Billy Black foot. You had quite the entourage five months ago. 
It's actually kind of weird. Usually when you see the mucus plug like that, um, it's the first thing you see, and then you see a water bag, typically. And then, um, and then you see a hoof. She's just skipped all the steps. She goes, she went from mucus plug right to foot. I never really saw her water break or anything, unless she did when she was walking back and forth, which could have been. She's such a character. Now I, I see a foot and I do see the nose presenting the right way. So even with a foot and a nose, she should be all right. So I'd like to let her try to do most of it on her own. She knows the drill, so she should be all right. That is a good sign. That nose just is dying to pop out, Rubes. Come on, Rubes. You can do it. You can do it. Come on, Ruby. That's a good girl. That doesn't look like Billy. Did you cheat on Billy? You sure did. Very promiscuous. <laughs> oh, what's your leg? Oh my god. Ruby, oh god, she's gonna try and get up. I better save that lamb. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, good. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, let's see. <gasps> He's a girl. Ruby, you had a girl. She's very beautiful. She's very beautiful. <laughs> what are we gonna call you? Well, that lamb dropped about, I don't know, 10 minutes ago. And it is up and doing its thing. It's so cute. Show everybody your really cute markings around your eyes. Yes, hi. Are we going to be friends? Yes, we are. Hello. Hello. It's got grandma's markings again. We got a little bit of Ruthie around her eyes. Yes, we do. Oh, hi. Hello. You have the most beautiful eyes. Dying. I'm dying. You're killing me, Ruby. Oh, hello. Hello. You hear my voice a lot, don't you? Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. You hear me all the time. I talk to your mommy every day. I talk to your mommy every day. Oh, you're so sweet. Oh, you're exactly what I needed today. They just know. Oh, 
Okay, you're gonna have to, you're on the wrong end. Your mommy's behind you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ruby. I love you. Oh, she's right in my lap. What are you doing? Oh. So glad I got my camera some days. Yeah. Put, them, put her right here for a sec. Okay. All right, pretty ladies. Come on, let's. I'm gonna check on you for some milk, Riggs. Oh, you got a lot. Oh, good girl. Want some milk? I don't think you have another one, but we'll check. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it. You're a good girl. Yeah. You just had one. Yep, just one. You love you so much. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna feed you a little. Can I feed it? Let's get you started. Yeah, I'm just getting her started. Good evening, everybody. It is Sunday night, and I am on the night check. I didn't see anything in my cameras, but that doesn't mean they're not hiding. I really like the night and the morning because the birds are the birds are a lot quieter. Okay guys, I think that's all for a Sunday, but it was a good Sunday. So we'll see you guys again tomorrow.